Hi, my name is Akim Ika. I'm excited to be on your screen again today. And I want to encourage you from the book of John chapter 13, and I'm going to read verse 23. The Bible says the disciple Jesus loved was sitting next to Jesus at the table. Now, John was the writer of the book of John, and anytime John wants to refer to himself, he would prefer to call himself the disciple whom Jesus loved. And John was very consistent in using these words in the book of John. He used it for about five times. So instead of saying, and John was sitting next to Jesus, he would say, and the disciple whom Jesus loved was sitting next to Jesus. And we can learn greatly from this, right? It's called practicing the consciousness of God's love for you, right? You know, there's a place in the book of Psalms 103. David will say, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Because it at times can be easy or you can be tempted to just forget that God loves you. So there's such a thing called practicing the consciousness of God's love for you, which was what John was always doing. So instead of calling himself John, he would say the disciple whom Jesus loved. And then if your name, for example, is Sam, you can say, I am Sam whom Jesus loved. And then when you have conversations with people, you can just remind yourself, slot it in your conversation and just say, you know what? I am the one Jesus loved. Or you can say, and then Sam, whom Jesus loved. But my point is, you, you can get to a place where you actively practice the consciousness of God's love, right? Uh, most of the time, you might go through a situation and then you are overwhelmed and then you feel as if, well, nobody cares about you. But, you know, Jesus radically cares about you. God so much loves you. And you reminding yourself of this truth as a way of making sure that your mind is sane, right? Because most of the time when you feel lonely, you remind yourself, I am the one Jesus loved. And he said, he will never leave me nor forsake me. So practicing the consciousness of God's love will really, really help you a lot. More importantly, your mental health, right? So you don't get to a place where you feel as if, well, nobody cares about you. That's, that's a lie. God actually cares about you. Have you ever read Psalms chapter 8 before? The Bible will say, what is man? Listen, that you are mindful of him. What it means to be mindful of somebody is your mind is full of that person. If you are to ask God right now, God, what are you thinking about? What's in your mind? God will say, you and me. Because God is actively thinking about us. The Bible says, what is man? You are mindful of him. So God loves you so much. But peradventure, you get to a time whereby it's almost as if you are feeling otherwise or you're beginning to just lose your mind or get overwhelmed. I want you to do what John is always doing. Just remind yourself, I am the one Jesus loved. I am the one Jesus cares about. I am the one Jesus will never leave nor forsake. I'm not alone in this journey. God is with me. God is for me. God is not against me. So I'll just rest in his love for me. I hope you're encouraged. God bless you. Amen.